everyone. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Dreo Smart Tower fan. Dreo did send me the sample, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this fan or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can get this with or without the Wi-Fi. So this is the smart version here. We'll flip it around to the back side. You'll see on the back, they do have your app instructions right there on the box with the QR code you can scan to download the Dreo app. Again, it's free for iOS and Android devices. They also have their customer service and contact information directly on the box. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature consisting of our full user guide and manual, followed by our quick start guide and our customer service and contact information. Next, you'll find our Dreo remote control, all of our buttons up at the top. Next, we have our two base pieces. They're plastic and they'll lock right in place. They also have your cable management channel here on both sides, depending on how you want to route the power cord and cable. And lastly, you'll see we have the tower fan itself, Dreo's logo and branding down at the bottom. You'll see up at the top our display with all of our touch buttons and control right there. So six different buttons and our display with all of our settings illuminating in the middle. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. So the first thing we have to do is install the base plate. Basically, you're gonna keep these at a slight angle to each other and then just gently twist them in place. That's the best way I can describe it. Just have them like this and then they'll gently snap in. So you gotta work it a little bit here, but just grab a side. So in this case, we'll do this bottom piece first and then we'll work this top one in before it's too far. And then it just snaps right in like that. So you'll see, that everything is connected. Basically have them lined up kind of like an X and then twist in. So hopefully that was helpful. We have the base plate installed. Now we move on to the next step. We're gonna take the power cord and cable and we're gonna feed it through the center. Once that's done, you'll have the base plate through like this. And then you should be able just to twist and it will snap and lock in place. So there we go. We just installed the stand. If you want at this stage, go ahead, line up the power cord through one of the channels, depending on how you're gonna install it. And that's it. Then you have everything all set up and ready to go. You can plug in and start using your fan. All right, we have the unit plugged in. Let's go ahead, power it on and go over the controls. So first up, we touch the power button there. Next, you'll see we have our lovely timer option. So we can set a timer for this fan anywhere between zero and 12 hours. So pick and choose what you want. Next, we have our oscillation button here. So we can press that to enable the oscillation. Watch as the fan moves to the left and to the right. You can also hold down that button for five seconds to reset your Wi-Fi during the app setup process. Then we can press it again and you'll see that it stops the oscillation. We have a mute button here. So look, now that mutes everything as needed. Then you'll see we can adjust our fan speed setting here. So one all the way up to six. And we can go back down to one. And then you'll see we have our different settings here. Our leaf, our sleep, and our auto, and then you'll see our fan. So we have multiple options if you wanna do eco mode, sleep settings, auto, or back to your regular control. Very nice display though, you'll see everything illuminates as it should giving you quick, responsive touch buttons. You can also use your smartphone to control this tower fan. So we have the Dreo app pulled up right here. Let's go into the fan settings. First thing we're gonna do is remotely turn it on. We can change all of our control modes here. If you wanna read about them, feel free to pause and look each mode description over. Then we can adjust our fan speeds, six all the way back down to one or anywhere in between. Up to you, pick and choose. We can also toggle on or off the oscillation for the fan. Then we have our preferences down here. We can mute the fan. We can turn our display auto off, on or off. We can change our temperature unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Then we'll go back out. You'll see we have a couple more settings. We can access everything right here, again, if we don't want to click on the picture of the fan. We have our timer. 
The timer goes all the way up to 11 hours and 59 minutes. So it could turn off after that if you wanted. We can view our room temp here, showing us that it's a little bit hot. Definitely time to turn on the fan. We can set a schedule. So add a schedule here. When do you want it off or on and which period of time? When do you want to start and stop? Which days of the week? Custom schedule, you get the idea. And then you'll see we have all of our fan settings. We can share this device with friends or family, view device information. We have our voice control settings if you want to integrate this with Amazon or Google. Here's your Amazon commands. We can turn on or off, change mode, change speed, and turn on or off the oscillation. Google's gonna be very similar. On, off, change mode, change speed, turn on and off the oscillation. And then lastly, you can delete the device from your account in the app right there. So that's a quick look at the Dreo Tower Fan app. So with the fan currently set on its loudest setting here, six, you'll see that we peaked at 60.2 decibels. And now at the quietest fan setting, which is gonna be fan speed setting one, you'll see that we peaked at 42.2 decibels. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using this Dreo tower fan. Here's what I wanna say. The key for me when you're looking for a tower fan is get one that's quiet, especially if you wanna use this in your room while you're sleeping, and get one that oscillates. That's the whole point. It's tall, it's long, it can move a lot of air around the room. So just pick and choose whatever fan fits your budget and needs. Some have longer timer settings than others, some have more more fan speed settings than others. But in this case, this one's pretty well-rounded. Just make sure you get one that oscillates and is quiet enough for your needs and preferences. The remote control is really handy if you want to keep this in a bedroom. Same with the Wi-Fi connection. But I would argue since you're getting a remote control, you know, it's nice to use your phone, but you don't necessarily have to. But with this particular one, you can get it with or without Wi-Fi. I would say, personally for me, I don't use these smart features, but if you need that scheduling capability, then go ahead, pay the extra for the Wi-Fi. If you don't need that scheduling functionality, you'll be fine with just the remote control, and you can save a couple bucks and put that back in your wallet.